Hello friends! Today we're doing my cozy reset. This is going to be a mixture of a reset for February, but also just like for the whole year. In these videos, I usually plan out my goals for the month, what I'm going to be reading, what content I'm going to be working on. I also usually do some cleaning and organizing. Right, so we're going to start with my goals. These are my goals for the whole year, not just the month. My main goal for this year is to calm down, to be chill, and to slow down. If I had to sum up, 2023 into one word it would be stress 2023 was really the year of change for me and i personally don't know that i handled it very well and my way of handling it was to throw myself into work and stress myself out even more by just forcing myself to like go 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 my goal for this year is to just calm down slow down not get too far ahead of myself when it comes to planning out my content or like what i want to read or what i want to do just really take things like day by day in the moment also because I just I really want like a social life I want to spend more time with my friends and my family last year I was really trying to distract myself from a lot of things that I was just like throwing myself into work and not focusing on any other aspects of my life and then within that my second goal is to film just more casual reading vlogs I do love doing the vlogs where there's like a theme or a concept. I find them to be so much fun to do, but I really wanna get back into doing reading vlogs the way that I did them like years and years ago on my channel where I would just do like a weekly vlog, reading whatever I wanted and having it just feel much more like casual and organic. I also think that will help me with the, like not getting stressed out and not planning too far in advance because with the more themed like concept videos they do take a lot more planning and you have to like think ahead for them but I would like to do a lot more filming and videos that's like just in the moment and then my last goal which actually is like a right now goal is that I want to redo my bedroom my bedroom is the one room in my house that I never really decorated because I just don't spend the most time in there I'm usually only in there when I'm sleeping or when I have a migraine and I can't get out of bed so I don't do a lot of like hanging out in my room but I would like to I would like to be a hangout in my room kind of girly so I want to rearrange the furniture in my bedroom right now my bed is like in the middle of the room and my bedroom is not that big so the bed takes up pretty much all of the space and then my dresser and my tv are actually in my closet because <laughs> they just don't fit anywhere else so I would like to move my bed into the corner and bring my dresser and tv out also so it's closer to my bed because my eyesight is not very good and I really don't like wearing my glasses so I want to rearrange my bedroom and then I think I want to go like thrifting and try to find some like cute decor pieces for it and finally decorate in there I do think the decorating part will be more of a longer process because I really like to only thrift for my decor stuff like most of the stuff that I have downstairs in my living room are thrifted pieces that I've gotten over the years so I want to start like thrifting and collecting things for my bedroom which will probably take a long time but I can start now and try to find a couple pieces in order to rearrange the furniture of my bedroom I need to clean it because my bedroom is very messy. There are clothes all over the floor. So actually with my patrons, we are going to be doing a cleaning live stream where we're all going to clean and organize things together. And hopefully during that, I will be able to do the whole cleaning reorganizing parts and then I can go thrifting. my bedroom oh my god that was literally the most exhausting thing that I've done in a while but I feel like it looks really cute like I got my vanity and my dresser all set up and now my bed is like in the corner I just like it I like it a lot better and now there's all this like room on the floor where I can actually walk around I just got back from my first thrifting outing and I found some amazing things. I didn't find a ton of stuff, but I found two pieces that I'm obsessed 
obsessed with. I'll start with what I found at the library thrift store. I really like this thrift store because it is smaller and it's a little bit more curated. It's organized really, really well. The one thing I found for my room there is this circle painting. It's an actual painting and it's just so beautiful. Oh my God, I am obsessed with it. I just think this will go with the vibe of the room perfectly. So I was very excited to find that. That was the only thing I found at the library thrift store for my room. However, I did get a couple other things. First thing I got is this like kind of silky top, kind of like sheer silky peplum almost top, which I really like the style. And I think the color is really pretty. And then I found this hand knit sweater that is so cute like is this not the most grandma core sweater you've ever seen in your life also this sweater <laughs> this sweater has shoulder pads in it which i will be removing i just think that's so funny you can tell when this was probably made that someone would want to put shoulder pads in a knit sweater and then the score of the day i went to flea market it's really cool it's so massive and big there's like 20 to 30 aisles of different booths basically people can rent out a booth there and just set up all their stuff so a lot of the booths are like different themes you like go through it and it's like tons of mini little shops it's so much fun but as soon as i walked in there i found this lamp it's a tiffany style lamp i've always wanted one of these but they're normally so expensive even thrifted they're so expensive actually i'm gonna plug it in and see what it looks like I actually hope it works. It said on the label that it works. And then the whole time I was walking through the flea market, everybody was like, ooh, nice lamp. <laughs> and I had to grab it really fast. I didn't have a basket yet because it was literally the first thing I saw when I walked in the store. I think they had just put it out on the floor because it was like in the front. This elderly woman was eyeing it up and I snatched it before she could grab it. So let's see if it works. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> Look how cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. So this is gonna be on my bedside table. Oh my god. I cannot believe I got this I've always wanted one of these lamps. So those are the two things that I've gotten so far I think I'm gonna go thrifting like once a week for the next like month or so and Just like keep collecting things and seeing what I can find and then we'll decorate the whole room So we are going to pick out my TBR for February and some of the books that I'm planning on reading. First up, my book club book for the month is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab, which I'm so excited for. This is actually going to be a reread for me. This is kind of on my list of books that I want to read again because I feel like they were right book, wrong time scenarios where I really, really enjoyed the book, but I don't know if I necessarily read it at the right time to love it as much as I think I should have. So I'm excited to reread this with my patrons and see if I enjoy it more this time. And then also one of my patrons, Emily, is hosting a Dark Academia readathon on our Discord, which I'm so excited for. So I'm gonna read some Dark Academia books that I'm very excited about. One of them that I'm for sure reading is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. My reading challenge for all of 2024 is to read classics. So this is going to fit in with that TBR and also it fits the prompts for the Dark Academia readathon and I'm very excited. I have always wanted to read this. I've actually had this on my shelf for so long because when I was in college, I was taking a class where we were gonna read this book, but then I ended up dropping that class before we got to it. So I never ended up reading it, but I've always wanted to come back to it and read it. And this is just a classic that I've always had an interest in. And then the other book that I'm for sure going to be reading is A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed, which I'm so excited about, not only because I have this beautiful special edition and I really wanna make an effort to read the special edition books that I get, but I've heard really, really good things about it and I think I'm going to love it. I do think that this is the not the first time that I've put this on one of my TBRs, but it will definitely be happening this month. I'm going to make it a priority for sure. So for my content plans this month, the first vlog that you guys will be seeing, which I think will be my next video, is going to be my reading booktubers favorite books vlog. This is, I think, the fifth year in a row that I am doing this video. It is always my favorite video to make. I 
love reading other booktubers favorites and that's pretty much what I've been doing the entire month of January is reading all of these books. I'm very excited to share that video. I will also this year for the first time be reading booktubers worst books of 2024 which should be interesting. And that is all the content that I 100% have planned for February. I have a, a couple other ideas, but as I said in my goals before, I'm trying not to plan too much. I'm trying to let myself do things more in the moment. So instead of filling up every single upload spot in my calendar, I'm leaving a lot of them blank to just see what I feel like doing. All right, I have a little bit of book mail. They are all birthday presents that came after my birthday. First one is from Emily and I'm so excited she got me The Company of Fiends by Catherine Moon, which is the second book in the Ru the Rooks of Groove. Wait, Rooks of Groove Bay. Wait, <laughs> the Rooks of Groove Bay. Man wait, <laughs> why am I struggling with this title so much? What is it? A Lady. Oh my God, A Lady of Rooks Grave Manor. Whew. This is the second book and I believe it takes place in this like theater troupe that I was super intrigued by when we got like a glimpse of it in the first book. So I am so excited. Thank you so much, Emily. And then the other book, The Last Hero by Lyndon A. Lewis. This is from Shauna. I'm so excited. I think I even said in my birthday book shopping video when I was at Barnes & Noble that I was looking for this book and they didn't have it. So this is the third book in the First Sister series, which I'm planning on completing this year. I loved book one and I really want to complete the trilogy. So this is the last one and I am so excited. Now I can finish it. Thank you, thank you so much. This is like an epic sci-fi series that I was just obsessed with. And then I bought myself a birthday present. I'm so excited to have this. Like I genuinely, oh my God. I'm gonna throw up. It's so pretty. It is the, I think it's the Arcane box. I could be wrong. Special editions of the Grace Draven books. Look how beautiful. Grace Draven is my favorite fantasy romance author and I was not able to get my hands on these books and I honestly never thought that I would get them. But someone was selling them on Pango for a very reasonable price. And I was like, oh my God, this is actually a Riley birthday come true. I read and Treat Me and I loved it. I have not read Master of Crows yet, but I'm so excited. Like the detail in these books is insane. The sprayed edges. I cannot wait to display these on my shelves. And now for my monthly favorites. Since I didn't do a reset for January, this is gonna include favorites from December and January. We'll start with my favorite TV shows. The number one favorite TV show that I've watched recently that I and making it my mission to get everyone to watch it, and that is The Artful Dodger. This is on Hulu, and it, it is so amazing. The basic premise of it is that it is a sequel to Oliver Twist following The Artful Dodger. Jack Dawkins, who has gone from being a thief to now a surgeon, and he forms a relationship with the governor's daughter who aspires to also be a surgeon, but since this is the 1850s, women are not allowed to be doctors, so they work together a lot, and the, oh my god, the romance? The romance in this show is amazing. Like, kicking my little feet, so, so cute. I feel like if you enjoy the romance vibes of like, stalking Jack the Ripper, mixed with like a little bit Veronica Speedwell. That is what this show feels like because they're working together on these surgeries and there's a big class difference between the two of them. And it is just so good. I need everyone to watch it so that they make a season two. So if you're watching this video, it is now your solemn duty to watch this show for me. Please watch it. And then the other one that I have not stopped thinking about is the Doctor Who 60th anniversary specials that brought back David Tennant as the Doctor. <gasps> oh my god, I love them. I have not watched Doctor Who in a very long time because the 10th Doctor is my all-time favorite and I've just been mourning the loss. So bringing him back and bringing Donna back, I loved. And I'm so excited now for the 13th Doctor. I really liked his introduction as the doctor. So I've rewatched these four specials many times now and they're just amazing. I love them. I'm so excited for the new direction of Doctor Who and to get back into it. For music, I have really been into Niall Horan's album, The Show, because for Christmas I got my mom tickets to his tour this year. So we're really excited to go. So I've been listening to that whole album and getting really into it. I've always been a fan of his, but I've never listened to like all of his music. I've just listened to a couple songs here and there, but 
This album is so good. I have had it on repeat for weeks now and I'm so excited to go to his show. My favorite book of the month is definitely Iron Widow by Shirin J. Zhao. This was so amazing, like five stars. I have not stopped thinking about this book. I talked about it in my last reading vlog that I did. I also did like a complete spoiler reaction vlog on my Patreon giving like real-time updates as I was reading it and I feel like Shirin J. Zhao needs a lot of support right now with everything that is going on with the publisher pushing the release date back again for the sequel with the Hugo Awards disqualifying Iron Widow. If you have ever been interested in this book now is the time to pick it up and show your support for it. And then lastly I have one extra favorite and that is these boots these are from target and i've been wearing them non-stop since i got them and i love them i feel like they go with every single outfit and i don't know i love wearing like a really cutesy girly outfit and then pairing it with these i wore them in my last vlog and i got a couple of comments asking where they were from so they are from target they're kind of like knockoff doc martens they are super super comfortable and not extremely heavy like they do have a little bit of weight to them but they're not extremely heavy which i was a little bit nervous about because i do still have issues with walking but they're very comfortable very easy to walk in and i love them i'm gonna put them down now because they are dirty so those are all of my recent favorites thank you guys for watching if you liked this video please like and subscribe and check out my patreon where i post tons of exclusive content i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>